Hey everyone, this is Dr. Kazi and in this video, we are going to learn about the blood supply of your stomach. Now, this topic is very, very important according to the examination point of view. So you have to focus on this one. The blood supply of the stomach consists of the arterial supply as well as the venous drainage. During exams, most of the students, they remember about the arterial supply but they usually forget about the venous drainage. So you have to remember about the arterial supply as well as the venous drainage. Let's discuss about the arterial supply of the stomach by drawing a diagram of the stomach. We know that the esophagus will continue down into this J-shaped organ present in our abdomen known as the stomach. The stomach has the greater curvature as well as the lesser curvature so i am drawing the greater curvature right now which will continue into the antrum portion and the pylorus portion the stomach also has the lesser curvature so this is the lesser curvature of your stomach so different arteries will supply the greater curvature and different arteries will supply the lesser curvature of the stomach so it all begins with the abdominal aorta it descends in your abdomen and gives off important branches. One of the very important branches is this one, which I am drawing right now, the celiac artery, also known as the celiac trunk. It gives off very important branches, which will supply this whole stomach. One of the very important branch is the left gastric artery. Remember this one. The left gastric artery will ascend upward and a branch arises from the left gastric artery which is known as the esophageal branch of the left gastric artery this branch will supply the lower portion or the lower third portion of your esophagus now after supplying the esophagus the left gastric artery will descend along the lesser curvature of the stomach and it will supply the upper portion of the lesser curvature of the stomach remember this is the lesser curvature of the stomach and this was the greater curvature of the stomach so we are studying about the arteries which are supplying the lesser curvature of the stomach the upper portion of the lesser curvature is covered so what arteries will supply the lower portion of the lesser curvature of the stomach again from the celiac artery or the celiac trunk a very important branch will arise this is known as the common hepatic artery. The common hepatic artery gives off two important branches. One of them is the proper hepatic artery. The proper hepatic artery is again dividing into this branch, which is known as the right gastric artery. This artery will supply the lower portion of the lesser curvature of your stomach. So the upper portion as well as the lower portion of the lesser curvature of the stomach is covered another branch of the common hepatic artery is this one which will go behind the pylorus portion which i am drawing right now is the gastro duodenal artery this one this is the gastro duodenal artery now in summary two arteries are supplying the lesser curvature of the stomach the left gastric artery which i am highlighting right now and the right gastric arteries these two arteries will supply the lesser curvature of the stomach now let's learn about the greater curvature of the stomach what arteries are supplying the greater curvature of your stomach again from the celiac artery a very important branch will arise this branch will travel along the upper border of your pancreas toward the spleen that is why it is known as the splenic artery this is the splenic artery which will supply the spleen which is situated somewhere right here from the splenic artery a very important branch will arise which will supply the upper portion of the greater curvature of the stomach or this portion of the stomach also known as the fundus so short gastric artery from the splenic arteries will supply the fundus portion of the stomach again from the splenic artery the body of the stomach is supplied by the left gastroepiploic artery the branches from the left gastroepiploic artery will supply the middle 
portion of the greater curvature of your stomach also known as the body of the stomach now we are only left with the lower portion of the greater curvature of the stomach remember from the celiac artery the common hepatic artery arises now from the common hepatic artery two branches arises the proper hepatic artery this one and this one which is going behind the pylorus the gastroduodenal artery so from the gastroduodenal artery a branch will arise this one which will supply the lower portion of the greater curvature of the stomach this branch is known as the right gastro epiploic artery all right we are done with the arterial supply so what arteries will supply the venous drainage if you know if you remember about the arterial supply the venous drainage is just a piece of cake for you again let's start with the left gastric vein the upper portion of the lower portion of the esophagus as well as the upper portion of your lesser curvature of the stomach all the veins will drain into the left gastric vein these veins will directly drain into a very important vein which is known as the portal vein this one this is the portal vein so all the veins will eventually drain into this very important vein the portal vein which will take the venous drainage to your liver so this is the portal vein the left gastric vein as well as the right gastric vein which will drain the lower portion of the lesser curvature of the stomach all the branches from the right gastric vein which eventually drain into the portal vein all right we are done with the lesser curvature of the stomach so in the similar manner the splenic vein will drain this is the right gastric vein this one which is draining into the portal vein okay now the splenic vein will also drain into the portal vein directly the splenic vein will drain the spleen as well as the branches this one the short gastric vein which is the branch of the splenic vein it is draining the fundus portion or the upper portion of the greater curvature of the stomach these short gastric vein will drain into the splenic vein and eventually the splenic vein will drain into the portal circulation directly in the similar manner just like the short gastric vein the left gastroepiploic veins which is draining the middle portion of the greater curvature of the stomach or the body of the stomach will drain into the splenic vein and eventually into the portal circulation we are only left with the lower portion of the greater curvature of the stomach what veins are draining so this is very very important and it is different from the other veins so you have to remember this one the right gastroepiploic vein these branches all the branches from the right gastroepiploic vein will drain not into the portal vein but into another vein which is present somewhere right here it is known as the superior mesenteric vein and the superior mesenteric vein will then connect the portal vein and then they will take the venous drainage to the liver this is all you need to know about the arterial supply as well as the venous drainage of the stomach please do like share and subscribe if you like my work and i will see you in the next video